710 ESPN Seattle presents Brock and Salk's Wrap Up. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Seahawks have what Brock calls a must-win game against the Rams tonight on Monday Night Football back in Seattle. So who are you watching? Brock will tell you who to watch next. Obviously, you're watching the Seahawks, right? And you've got to win this game, and you have to win this game, and you're playing a bad Rams team that is going in the wrong direction and either has a badly injured quarterback or a guy that virtually no one's ever heard of. Mm -hmm. So, Brock, who are you watching tonight? Who are you paying attention to in addition to just winning the game? Yeah, I'm looking offensively at your Seattle Seahawks. I want to see Paul McQuist in the left tackle. If the Seahawks, as Gras said, are on the Dare to Dream Express, it's going to be that left tackle that's going to be in play a significant role. Russell Okun was fantastic through 12 games, was getting better and better and better and now you're going to move your right guard over to left tackle and this is going to be the most favorable matchup from the entire month you got Julius Peppers to follow you've got the the Smith brothers down there in San Francisco Calais Campbell in Arizona I'm going to be watching McQuiston on top of that I want to see if Golden Tate can put a few performances back to back to back. He looks like a little different guy. And how many of these chalk talks and how many of these after show wraps have we done saying, when is the light bulb going to go on? Right. When is Golden Tate going to be the 60th pick, that second round potential and talent? When will that finally can grow they get up him and in emerge? Space? Can they continue to find ways to get him the ball in space where he's proved himself to be very difficult to tackle? And that brings you to Tavares Jackson. As always, he's in the spotlight. I mean, it almost seems too obvious. But he's getting healthier. He had a full, what, 10 or 11 days off since he played last. He was healthier even heading into that game on Thursday night. He had a very, very good, uh, very, he's very solid. Yeah. Right? He didn't do anything wrong against Philadelphia. I would love to see him continue that tonight and really give them a catapult going forward. 